about it, that's not true. I got two buddies in Ocala that live on Second Street overlooking Hunter Springs. Uh huh. And they know about it. <laughs> so I, it's. You know, Leo, the, ex, the old law enforcement guy retired? Uh huh. You know, we tried to buy, we made an offer on that property over there by the plantation. That yep. lot that sits out there with the big docks. Right. And he wanted a little bit more than what we were willing to pay at the time. And then he just sold it a couple of weeks ago for 1.1. One. Yeah. So tell this guy I like to do a lot of little handyman stuff. It's oh, yeah. nice. Yeah, I'll call you when I am. <laughs> on a really high tide, uh -huh. those homes across the way, the water runs underneath the home. Does it really? Yeah. Wow. And there are, you know, depressions on all those lots that um, you can't fill in. So, I mean, that's so... All of those homes are built on, on stilts. Um, and if they weren't, they flood. Not so here. That yeah, big ass turtle. When was this built? 70s? 80s? 98. Really? So much for me to go in my architecture. The pump right there. What's that for? Sprinkler system. system. Okay. And you can pull water from the spring. The Absolutely. Spring. Yeah, that's okay. The dock is nice. Looking good. What's that? Of course it's fun or you wouldn't be doing it. Did you plant all these lures? Or were they here? Those were here. John loved plants. I know. He was kind of obsessed. Obsessed. So you've been doing his uh, lawn care and maintenance? And no, I've been doing just... it for at least five years and his daughters for ten at least. Have you, um, how much, how much you, you charge a month? Um, uh, well, I usually charge by the cut, $30, but I'm getting ready to switch to the month. <laughs> 30 bucks a cut? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I do that one across the street, down the street. And so I don't forget, in case we, we go ahead, um, what's your name? Joe Mattingly. Okay, Joe. I'm Bill Slade. Hey, Bill. Just think of my brother Don down there for the Marlins. Actually, gotcha. probably a long last cousin because he's from Indiana, too. So, yeah. That boat that hasn't been in very long, the second one. The second one is the smaller of the two? Yeah. Keep looking again. So we get evening suns over there. Yeah, north south exposed. Okay. West over there. The good thing about this side is you don't have to worry about a high boat getting underneath the bridge. <laughs> over there, you have an issue with that. Where 
you from? Tampa. Oh, okay. I have a daughter who lives in Riverview. I did too. Back when I was in college, I went to St. Leo. Well, now we got the Hard Rock, so um, it's more fun watching Highlight. I love Highlight. That I've was, got a good friend that. I used to go every Wednesday because that was your pick six night where if you pick six in a row, you want a car. <laughs> but I tell you, I always, when I was in college, I always came out ahead, not by a lot, but as soon as I got out of college, I'd go to Highlight every now and then. It was my lucky thing. My friend's dad was the captain of the highlight team or ran the highlight for Anton in Tampa. Uh, and when he died, which wasn't too long ago, he had all this memorabilia. It was really impressive. It's, it's, you know, I never, I'd seen the billboards for years before I actually went. And, and man, that's amazing. Whew. I can imagine getting hit with one of those balls. <laughs> no kidding. It's worse than getting hit by a paintball. Does it have a security system in it? I don't know. What's that? Security system? I don't it's know. got a, no, but she's got ring doorbells, ring cameras everywhere. That's cool. That door's locked, so let's walk let's back and see that last bed, those bedrooms. that house. I can feel it. And that house never flooded. So, but that would big time, right? It water would go underneath the house, but it, it wouldn't go in. It the would house. never go in the house. Okay. So they built up enough. Oh yeah. It's like we're all underestimating the hundred year flood. I mean, I don't see any cracks. I don't think, I don't see anything structural. I, I think this house would breeze through it. Inspection. inspection. Oh, yeah. Nice big garage. My house in Tampa is you know, on the peninsula now. I don't know if you're familiar with it, but it's down by Plant High School. And some anomaly where my house is, it's 26 feet above sea level. Wow. I mean, the rest of the peninsula, I think maybe just out of blind luck on my part, the peninsula, it may be the highest house there. My house is at eight and a half. They are a good size better. You got any kids? One. She's getting married. I'm fixing it. If you hear a sucking sound, it's my wallet. Because <laughs> she's getting married in yeah, fucking imagine. In December. I mean, I'm 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 gonna pay for my granddaughters. I'm planning on it's gonna be very small, but I'm planning on fifty grand. <laughs> um, and you'll spend every bit of that. Oh yeah. But she's our only child, and she's been a good kid. She's working, earning. And the guy she's married, I'm having a tough time with getting used to, but I will. Yeah, the house looks solid, and I love the docks. How long you been looking? Off and on, a couple of years. I mean, See, here's the deal. These homes, and I told you yesterday, these homes never hit the market. Right. And so you see stuff that we never so even see. You'll, you'll never see these come up until you see it pending. And, you know, that's the way, I mean, the house has been a mess. I mean, you can see all the shit. I don't, yeah, I don't need um, a beautifully decorated house to, to look past all that. I mean, I'm in construction, so... 
we do commercial HVAC. I know. I, I Google you. <laughs> I need to make sure he works on the fire checker. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. And I'm like very to the point, too. I'm not a. No. Very interesting. 